Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Steelers playbook. I think this is the second series that I've done out of this this year. I'll pop a link uh, to some of the first uh, plays that I put out, which is out of the single back trips. But this is by far one of the best passing playbooks. Um, I teased in that video a uh, series out of the Empty Bunch, but I didn't actually record that yet. So, And I'm not recording it today either. I'm doing something a little bit different. This one here I like a little bit better, the Empty Tray Stack. Uh, some of these plays I think are in the Saints playbook. I'm not 100%. I did a Saints ebook all that stuff's in the description below um, but I'm pretty sure a couple of pass plays either that's a very similar formation but either way this is an excellent passing formation one of the best passing playbooks out there uh, and if you want to see more like I said I still have an empty bunch that I haven't put out uh, but if you want to see more hit the like button or let me know in the comment section other than that let's go let's get into the first play out of the gun empty tray stack this formation right here just looking at it it's kind of on the glitchy side whenever the, the stack portion on the uh, on the left side um, is really confusing to the AI anytime you have um, bunch formations like this one or a stack Stack formation or uh, tight to the line of scrimmage the computer has a really hard time of deciphering the routes until they separate so that's gonna give you some serious advantages here so let's go ahead and let's pick the first play there's a lot of plays that I like but the first play that I'm gonna pick is uh, I'm gonna try to exploit that and uh, where's that it here it's the uh, smash seam uh, it's one of my more favorite plays this is very similar to a play that I put out from the Falcons playbook last year let's go ahead and let's pick that and on defense we'll go random nickel because there's running backs and stuff like that on the uh, on the field doesn't matter though. I'll go big dime doesn't matter yeah, now this play right here, right out the gate, without any adjustments, there's some really simple looks that you need to look for. If it's a cover three, Le'Veon Bell right at the seam there is really good. If it's a cover two, you can actually put Le'Veon Bell on a fade and uh, pass him outside and he'll get open sometimes. Uh, but that really depends on what your outside corner does. Uh, but either way, as is, like I said, not a lot of changes. Uh, cover two, you also got James. James is going to be really good. He'll probably get usered the most, uh, the tight end, but he might not. They might not stick with him. If he does get usered, uh, your adjustment, one of the adjustments I like to make is putting Bryant on a drag, but he's fine on that square in that's just as good he'll come open a little bit late and then like i said the center of the field will typically be uh open because james is going to pull everybody back now what i really want to look for for my quick passing is that my first read rather is what's going on, on the left side with hayward and brown now if it looks like a cover two and i'm not sure if this is it looks like it probably it has a good chance to be a cover two putting hayward on a uh on a flat route is a really good option to get him open underneath so let's go ahead and let's do this like i said you can see there they pull back it's going to leave in the open. It's about seven, eight yard catch. Uh, not the big biggest play in the world, but you can take that all game long if you see a cover two. Now, if it's a cover three, or uh, this looks like it might be a cover four, uh, Hayward Bay in the route that he's in can be open right up the center uh, a lot of times. Or this, I'm not exactly sure what covers that was, where you can just wait for him to break and he'll get open the same way. But what I'm looking for is him to be open immediately, and uh, that's something that will happen more often than not. They keep giving me a, uh, a different look, so I'm taking my check down here, and this is a huge check down. This is actually a cover four, and he's open right up the middle for a big play. Uh, but pretty much everything on this play is going to get open. I'm still trying to get that quick read to the square route. And here we got uh, James. It looks like a cover two. I mean, it's just so spread open. It's, it's incredible. This type of spread formation is just going to leave so many holes. I mean, you're attacking everywhere on the field. Here, this looks like a cover two. I'm going to make my cover two adjustments. I'd like to make a big play to Bell if I can. And it looks like we might have it. Uh, that actually might have been a cover one man. Uh, but you can see he's going for another big play. Like I said, this formation setup is kind of glitchy. Now here I can tell, the, the Hayward and Brown option, the way that they're lined up, there's nobody inside uh, to take away the inside throw. So I'm going to pass lead inside right away to Hayward, and he's going to be open right up the seam. Uh, guy got in the way a little bit, typically get more than that. So you're just making a quick diagnosis. If there's somebody inside there uh, where Hayward Bay is uh, starting his route, it's not the best look. But if there's nobody inside there, it's a quick pass and it's an easy play. So this here looks like a cover two, cover four again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop down our cover two beater. It looks like we have that deep cover two beater. If I could pass lead outside, he doesn't get the touchdown though. I was feeling a touchdown there, but it's all good. Pretty decent coverage at the end of it. Uh, once again, not sure. Cover two, cover four. Uh, let's go ahead and let's make our adjustments. Um, this here, it looks like I'm going to try to pass lead outside, and we got that beat outside again. I mean, still getting a yard short, but still a really good series of plays we're having here. Um, here, this is kind of iffy. I'm not sure if that square route's going to beat 
right away. If that blitzer sends in, it definitely will. As you can see, I just pass lead inside. Nice 15 yard gain. And this whole series is just phenomenal. Well, it's just a really glitchy setup. So this year looks like we've got a cover three. Um, I could go any number of ways here. Uh, like I said, Bell's really good against cover three. If I really wanted to get the cover three open, I put Bryant on a fade, and that's going to pull for that cover three seam a little bit better. But then it also takes away my check down, and now you can see I'm just butt naked. So <laughs> I'm going to take off with the quarterback. But uh, either way, I mean, the spread formation is phenomenal. Hayward's Rockets open at different times. Really good play. Here we got that, uh, yeah, I passed lead that outside again because he was open right away. I mean, there's just so much spread action going on here. Just a phenomenal play. So much going on. Uh, so, you know, I, I couldn't even tell you what my favorite read is. There's so much good stuff in this play. You really have to pay attention to it, to what. Another adjustment you can make, you can put Bell on a slant, and then you can put Bryant on a drag. Um, and you can see how it creates three levels of passing. So this is pretty good, too. Uh, what this does here is that the R1 route and the circle route are typically going to get open underneath the pulling uh, tight end. So that's something good to mix in. Um, like I said, there's just so much good stuff going on in this play. Uh, that's gonna give users uh, give users a lot of problems. As you can see, at the very least, uh, the circle route's gonna be open <laughs> underneath everything, you know what I mean? So uh, just a lot of really good setups. I don't even know which one's my favorite, but play around with this play, it's just phenomenal. Let me guys know if you guys want me to do a uh, ebook out of the Steelers. I'm really thinking about it. There's so much good stuff here. Uh, the next play I'm going to try to exploit is the uh, bench corner. Now this one here is another play with some seriously quick open, uh, quick open routes and plays. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. And we'll keep going. Like I said, you, you got a tight end and a running back. So realistically, you might see a lot of nickels. But I'll keep going big dime just so I don't hear anybody bitch about it in the comment section. So this play right here, I'm looking Brown's way. If it's not a cover too hard flat, Brown should get open like almost immediately. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. You can see how he just gets open real quick. If you have more space, you can get more catch and run room. If I wanted to, I could move the ball to the right hash mark and I'd have a lot more catch and run room, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not in the move for that. Uh, but this is mostly outside stuff. The other adjustment I like to make, I like to put Bell on, an, uh, on a flat route. And uh, Brian's good way is um, you can put him on a streak. Um, you know, he, he's fine running that in route. It really depends on what your, uh, your pre-snap reads. I actually put the wrong guy in the streak. Um, but you really look, if it's a man coverage, pretty much everything here is going to beat man. Um, is it here? Here we get that. That's a cover three. So I'm going to cut that route off short, pass lead it inside, and go right that cover three seam. So if it's a cover three, you want to throw it to James right away. But if it's a cover two, that's why I got Bell in this flat route, as you're going to see here. Um, he really beats that. So there, that was a cover two. Everything was shallow because of the guy coming across. Yeah, that's why I didn't change Bryant, because he's going to pull coverage down for, for James. If you want to, you can put him on a slant, and it'll have a similar effect. Um, you know, but you just want somebody to kind of get attention. Uh, as here we get, as soon as he makes that arch, you throw it right in that arch, he's going to be open, tight end. So James here, I mean, he's kind of just a blocker. So the fact that he's getting open says something. So here he's all, like I said, he's right in that cover three scene. This looks like a cover three. Uh, we're going to get a blitz, and then we're going to just quick throw it right at that cover three. Real simple reads. Hayward will get open up a cover three uh, right away too, uh, but he's also a really excellent man beater. That's kind of his thing. Um, is I'm going to go back to the X route. This is another cover two man. Every time I get a cover two man, he's going to be wide open. You really want to run Brown's route to um, the open side of the field. I don't really feel like moving the ball, um, but you're going to see how when he makes that arch. If you hit that when he makes that arch, it's just an instant open 15 yard catch. And you can get more. I mean, you can really get more out of that guy. Um, if you uh, have more space, you see I run out of bounds. Yeah, if you don't think that Brown's going to be open right away, that it's, like this looks like it might be a hard flat. It's really best to just focus on your other, um, the other side of the field because there's some serious consistent routes uh, combinations going on over there. So I would say um, if you don't think it's triangle, just uh, just look to the right side of the field and move it on. I wish I had a nice run play to throw in here. The only one I really have is the quarterback draw. Um, it's not a horrible play. I guess I go ahead and I show it. There's not a lot of adjustments. Uh, there's no real benefit to be had. I'd say the only thing, um, you know, that would make this play better is a mobile quarterback, um, which Ben Roethlisberger is not. Um, but it is a pretty good play to mix in every once in a while. I mean, he's like a 60-speed quarterback. You see, it's a nice play here. It's essentially, uh, it's a draw play. So you're going to have to uh, wait for your uh, lineman to get set. Um, but, you know, there's nothing too crazy about this. But it, like I say, it, it will catch your opponent. Uh, off guard, uh, especially if somebody's coming out in like dime coverages or quarter coverages or something like that. Uh, they're coming out in something really small to try to stop this play. Um, this is going to be a pretty good look. As you can see, like I said, I'm getting I'm getting a decent amount of yards. I would say slide though. Uh, I wouldn't be taking hits like I am in practice. I would say uh, give yourself up once you get a couple yards. Just just take an easy slide and don't give a sack fumble.
So that's it for part one. If you guys want to see more of this part two or more Steelers, do me a favor and the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.